The federal government of the United States is good at keeping secrets, especially those from mind-blowing research from NASA. Starting from the early 1950, the United States government was boiling its mind to produce a high-speed hypersonic aircraft that no man could have ever imagined, and much of the data and research kept away from the public for years. Here are the top 10 secret hypersonic aircraft that U.S. developed and were never shown to the public. XB-70 Valkyrie Only two were developed. The North American Aviation XB-70 Valkyrie was the prototype version of the Plan B-70 nuclear-armed, deep-penetration supersonic strategic bomber for the United States Air Force Strategic Air Command. Designed in the late 1950s by North American Aviation. The six-engine Valkyrie was capable of cruising for thousands of miles at Mach 3 Plus while flying at 70,000 feet. At these speeds, it was expected that the B-70 would be practically immune to interceptor aircraft, the only effective weapon against bomber aircraft at the time. The bomber would spend only a brief time over a particular radar station, flying out of its range before the controllers could position their fighters in a suitable location for an interception. High speed also made the aircraft difficult to see on radar displays, and its high altitude and high speed capacity could not be matched by any contemporaneous Soviet interceptor or fighter aircraft at the time. Bell X 2 Starbuster Only two were developed. Nicknamed Starbuster, the Bell X 2 was an X plane research aircraft built to investigate flight characteristics in the Mach 2 to 3 range. The X 2 was a rocket powered, swept wing research aircraft developed jointly in 1945 by Bell Aircraft Corporation, the United States Air Force, and the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, to explore aerodynamic problems of supersonic flight and to expand the speed and altitude regimes obtained with the earlier X 1 series of research aircraft. On September 27, 1956, Apt became the first person to fly faster than three times the speed of sound. The engine burned slightly longer than expected and Apt flew a near-perfect flight profile, allowing him to reach a speed of Mach 3.2. Apt initiated a sharp turn back toward Edwards and this resulted in a control divergence known as inertial coupling. The X-2 began to tumble uncontrollably. Apt jettisoned the escape capsule, but was unable to extract himself before it struck the ground. His death cast a shadow over the most spectacular achievement of the program. Lockheed YF-12 Only three were developed. The Lockheed YF-12 was an American Mach 3 Plus capable, high-altitude interceptor prototype, developed and manufactured by American aerospace company Lockheed Corporation. It was developed during the late 1950s and early 1960s as a potential replacement for the F-106 Delta Dart Interceptor for the United States Air Force. The yf 12 was a twin-seat version of the then-secret single-seat Lockheed A-12 reconnaissance aircraft operated by the Central Intelligence Agency. Unlike the A-12, it was furnished with the Hughes and slash ASG-18 fire control radar and could be armed with AM-47 Falcon Air 2 air missiles. Performing its maiden flight on August 7, 1963, the YF-12's existence was revealed by President Lyndon B. Johnson on February 24, 1964. This move was to provide plausible deniability for the CIA-operated AA-12 fleet, which closely resembled the prototype YF-12. During the 1960s, the YF-12 underwent flight evaluations by the United States Air Force but funding to put it into operational use was not forthcoming partly due to the pressing demands of the Vietnam War and other military priorities. It set and held speed and altitude world records of Mach 3.35 over 80,000 feet. Boeing X-51 Wave Rider Only four were developed. The Boeing X 51 Wave Rider is an unmanned research scramjet experimental aircraft for hypersonic flight at Mach 5 and an altitude of 70,000 feet. The aircraft was designated X 51 in 2005. It completed its first powered hypersonic flight on May 26, 2010. After two unsuccessful test flights, the X 
51 completed a flight of over 6 minutes and reached speeds of over Mach 5 for 210 seconds on May 1, 2013, making the longest duration for a hypersonic flight. Wave Rider refers in general to aircraft that take advantage of compression lift produced by their own shock waves. The X-51 program was a cooperative effort by the United States Air Force, DARPA, NASA, Boeing, and Pratt & Whitney Rocketdyne. On May 1, 2013, the X-51 performed its first fully successful flight test on its fourth test flight. The X-51 and booster detached from AB-52H and was powered to Mach 4.8 by the booster rocket. It then separated cleanly from the booster and ignited its own engine. The test aircraft then accelerated to Mach 5.1 and flew for 210 seconds until running out of fuel and plunging into the Pacific Ocean off Point Magoo for over six minutes of total flight time. This test was the longest air-breathing hypersonic flight. Researchers collected telemetry data for 370 seconds of flight. The test signified the completion of the program. The Air Force Research Laboratory believes the successful flight will serve as research for practical applications of hypersonic flight, such as missiles, reconnaissance, transport, and air-breathing first stage for a space system. North American X-15 Only three were developed. The North American X-15 is a hypersonic rocket-powered aircraft. It was operated by the United States Air Force and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration as part of the X-Plane series of experimental aircraft. Still the fastest airplane ever flown, the North American X-15 earned its title 55 years ago, when on October 3, 1967 Air Force Major William A. Pete Knight flew the rocket-powered aircraft to Mach 6.72. It was built to find out how aircraft structures, materials, and control surfaces would perform at hypersonic speeds and very high altitudes. In 199 research flights, the X-15 provided that information and more. The program has been acknowledged as the most successful flight research program in history, and it helped make human spaceflight possible. X-15 flights were short, each lasted about 10 minutes. For the rocket plane to use all its fuel for acceleration, it was carried beneath the wing of NASA B-52 plane to an altitude of 45,000 feet, where it was dropped. NASA X-43 Only three were developed. The NASA X-43 was an experimental unmanned hypersonic aircraft with multiple planned scale variations, meant to test various aspects of hypersonic flight. It was part of the X-Plane series and specifically of NASA's HyperX program. It set several airspeed records for jet aircraft. The X-43 is the fastest jet-powered aircraft on record at approximately Mach 9.6. A winged booster rocket with the X-43 placed on top, called a stack, was drop-launched from a Boeing B-52 Stratofortress. After the booster rocket brought the stack to the target speed and altitude, it was discarded, and the X. 43 flew free using its own engine. The first plane in the series, the X-43A, was a single-use vehicle, of which three were built. The first X-43A was destroyed after malfunctioning in flight in 2001. Each of the other two flew successfully in 2004, setting speed records, with the scramjets operating for approximately 10 seconds followed by 10-minute glides and intentional crashes into the ocean. Plans for more planes in the X-43 series have been suspended or cancelled. That's all for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and then subscribe. You can also watch other videos from this channel by clicking on those popping videos.